So just a quick video, my main tip for climbing. I've done a talk about breathing, I've talked about diet. We know vegan diet is the best for climbing because when you've got a big steak or a half a dead chicken in your gut, the next day when you go out training, you're not going to be able to breathe as good. Your legs, the blood is going to be diverted to your stomach versus your legs, blah, blah, blah. So we know the high carb, low fat, vegan thing is the best. I want to talk about mentality. That's got to be one of the biggest things in uh, climbing ability is the mentality. People often, when the road gets steeper, they start to crack themselves mentally. So I just want to remind people that it's so much about the mental state. This morning I went out training and I woke up at 5.20 and I didn't really want to go out. It was sort of cold and dark outside and a bit of drizzle, a bit of rain. And I'm like, well, you know, may as well go out anyway because it's you know, I like riding my bike and I always feel better when I get out. And now I'm back home, I feel amazing. So I went out there with my mates and uh, we went up a climb that I've done for a few years now. And I set my second fastest time up there. So it was interesting that I didn't want to go out. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. And then I set my second fastest time up there ever. Now, so I've got a power meter. I, drew, I trained with a power meter. I definitely recommend a power meter. If you're a triathlete, if you're a cyclist and you want to get better, get a power meter and get a copy of this book. Now, I'm not affiliated with these people at all. Don't get any assent from them. Don't even know them personally. But uh, I think it's an excellent book. I know it's an excellent book and I know a power meter, be it an SRM, a power tap, a cork, whatever, is going to be a great benefit for you because you can objectively see improvements. You can see, what am I doing? What, what are you doing? Like when you go to the gym, you don't just pick up the weights and start firing them around. You pick up the certain kilos or the certain pounds. You do a certain amount of reps. You know, and then you can track your improvement. When cycling, people go, oh, I just ride my bike. And you know, that's fantastic. I do too. I've never had a driver's license. I just ride my bike because I love riding my bike. And I also enjoy tracking my fitness, watching during the year the ups and downs. Yeah. So I definitely enjoy that, watching the hydration, the fat intake, carbohydrate intake, and all those little experiments to see that gradual improvement relative to your own individual potential. So anyway, this morning on the climb, and I could just pick my wattages. I wouldn't go up, I wouldn't go under, I just hold that watts, hold that watts, hold that watts, all the way to the top of the climb, and that's just such a, a benefit. But the mentality is just so important, of having that mentality focusing on positive thoughts the whole way up, just eliminating... There's always going to be that little voice in your head telling you, just, oh, this hurts too much, you're breathing too hard, this, this is too, not enough, blah, 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 blah. Just tell it to fuck off, shut the fuck up, get out of my head, and just have the positive thoughts to relaxing, relaxing the shoulders, focusing on the breathing, focusing on the wheel in front of you, just focusing on the wattages, just, you know, fluid pedaling, easy pedaling, dancing like Lance, whatever. Just focusing on that fluid movement, and your climbing times are just going to drop. So a lot of people get caught up in the weight weenie mentality. I've got to drop an extra 30 grams off my <laughs> rim. Or it's like, it doesn't fucking matter, man. Here is what fucking matters. You know, your bike fit matters. Your carbohydrate, getting enough carbs, that's what matters. Bike weight doesn't really matter too much. My bike's 10.5 kilos, man. It's made out of bamboo and it flexes like anything. But I'm still smashing up there. So there's a lot about mentality, training with a power meter. And the biggest tip I can give, man, is... To a triathlete or, or a cyclist is get a power meter. You know, you, you're not training yet until you get a power meter. <laughs> you can sort of, you know, you just not really. Once you get a power meter, you understand what I'm saying. When you got a power meter, it's like going to the gym and actually knowing what the numbers are on the plates versus just lifting. Getting out there is good. That's that's the main thing. Just get out there. But if you want to get better, if you want to get your best out of yourself, get a power meter. Guaranteed, definitely. Invest in your fitness. That's all I can say. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, join the cult. We'll see you soon. Just lastly, I wanted to show you this little clip with uh, Lance Armstrong in the 2003 Tour de France. So he's uh, attacking Iban Mayo and Jan Uruk here. He's on the attack. And this is an example of mentality. So Lance is like the personifies positive attitude on the bike. Now watch this. So he's dancing along, just pushing it. Attacking, bang, 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 boom! So what happened there is Lance's handlebar got caught in a spectator's little bag. So it was a total accident. But you can see Lance, he's strapped to his bike, and his bike fixed. He's not freaking out. He's not screaming at anybody. He doesn't really give a fuck. He's just like, i got to get back on my bike and keep going because nothing else matters. You know, he's just, there you go. See, just 
accident, too close, and bang. So Mayo, everyone else is waiting up here, and uh, it's funny, that this, and then watch this again. So Lance is chasing again, boom! His bike actually snapped, his chain stays snapped here, so he's riding a broken bike now. And he's just thinking, what's going on? But he's not freaking out. He's not freaking out. He's going, well, what's going on here? Okay, it's broken. Let's just keep going again. So uh, almost crashes, almost loses uh, loses his manhood on the on the top tube there. So even Mayo is just like, what's going on here? So Lance is like, fuck it. Let's keep going. You know, let's keep going. <laughs> That's class, man. And uh, just total positive attitude. Just using any adrenaline or anger, just putting it into power of the pedals. And now he's going again. So he's just crashed twice. You know, he's just crashed twice, lost a bit of skin, probably knackered himself. But he doesn't give a fuck, he's just going to go. And so Lance, and he won the stage. He won the stage, he won the tour that year. An example of, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it that counts. And yeah, people go, oh, but you dope. It's like, hey, everyone in that top ten that day has been busted for doping, so... It's even playing field totally. So here's an example of just positive attitude that mentality is more important. Thanks for watching.